To edit a screen recording video that was created on the iPad, you first need to go to the Photos app where the screen recording videos are stored. So tap on the Photos app. Next, tap on the video to bring it up full screen. You can go ahead and turn the audio on. You'll also see a counter. Go ahead and pause the video and then tap on Edit. Tap on the video thumbnail timeline at the bottom of the screen below the video. Tap and hold the yellow handles on either the left or the right side and start to drag them toward the middle of the video to trim the video. Tap the play button to figure out how much of the beginning of the video you want to cut off. You can drag the white playhead across the video to find the spot that you're looking for. I'm looking for the beginning of my little screencast about notability. So I think it might be about here. I'm going to tap the play button again. Recording on how to add a new note in notability. So that's where I want to start my video. So I'm going to tap and hold on the left side of this thumbnail timeline and drag it toward the right until I reach that point in the video where I'm starting to talk about how to create a new note in notability. Not there yet. So I'm going to keep dragging that handle. I'm also going to work on the end of this recording. So I know that I want to drag that right handle back to the end of my little tutorial about creating a new note. So here I'm writing on it. And I believe that's where I stop. I'm going to check out the beginning again. Notability. Tap on the Notability app. There we go. All right, now that I've trimmed the beginning off where I'm starting the recorder, kind of talking about the demonstration, and I've trimmed off the ending where I'm tapping on the red button to stop that recording after I'm finished creating my new note. What I have left inside of those yellow handles is my little sample tutorial video, my little screencast about creating a new note. So I'm going to tap on done and I'll save this video as a new clip just in case I want to come back and do something else with this video. So here's our finished video with the beginning and the end trimmed off. I'm going to go back to the photos app to my photo gallery. I can see there that this trimmed video is now a minute and six seconds started out as being two minutes and seven seconds. If you needed to do any additional editing to the screen recording, like removing a section of video from the middle of the video, you could also import the screen recording into iMovie and do further editing there. At this point, then I can airdrop this video off to my computer. I could upload it to Seesaw, upload it to Schoology, or post it somewhere else.